What's good? It's Music Nick, Cookup Series, Season 3. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you. Welcome back. Trust me, I see you guys. I know you are, and uh, your support is always appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're cooking up every day, working to be the best producer that we can be. So if you're on that journey as well, hit that subscribe button, and let's get better together. Today, as you can see by the title, we are making some Busy Banks type beats, some uh, some drill shit, you know, some like pop smoke, Busy Banks inspired shit, some yo's, 808 mellow, you know, all that shit, you know, Trap House Mob used to be all that shit, we're making some shit like that today. So anyway, let's shut up, let's get into this shit, 75 likes, I'm dropping more free samples, check the description out for the last free sample pack we dropped, so yeah man, comment, like, subscribe, all that YouTube shit, let's go. Get into this shit, man. Let's go like 142 BPM. Let's just start out with some chords. So FL keys. Let's get a dope chord progression and work off of that. tension up and that's what it's down out of. I like where we're going with that. Alright, so let's not even go too crazy with any melodies because kind of here's the plan. I want to take that. Here's what I'm thinking in my head. Take that first. We're going to take something. We're going to put into a new sound. We're going to hit Alt-Y. So we're going to reverse the MIDI. But then we're going to bounce it out and then reverse it again. So when you reverse something that's playing in reverse, it becomes playing playing backwards but going forward. So that makes any sense. And then I want to make something that's kind of with those chords. but kind of dun, dun, dun. So reverse with a chop on top. With then like a play it out like blue, 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 blue. Like all beautifully. So like uh, let's put that. Let's, let's do it now. Let's let's put that those weird words into action. Expand ballad string pad. Uh, it might be a bit big, but we might just end up half timing and then that'll make it fine. So, let's like I said, we'll take this, we hit Alt Y, flip horizontally. So now the, the, the it's playing like this direction is now like as if it was front. So, when we reverse it, it's gonna be the right way again. But anyway, reverse it. created a, uh, a nice custom preset here in Effect Rack and yeah, just working on this Effect Rack uh, pack they're going to be releasing soon. Just uh, a bunch of different effects that to give it just, like, a, a cool feel. Without it, it sounds like this. Now we got some like bounce with the tremolator, a little extra bounce from the filter freak. The microchip kind of widens a little bit and then a little bit of like airiness and widening from the echo boys. So that's just dope. Analog Lab, apparently it's something that I made at some point. I don't remember doing that. I call it Sweet Keys. I, I have no idea. Apparently I designed that. Uh, Pair to EQ, Halftime, Pair to EQ, Effect Rack, Effect Rack, Pair to EQ. Like we said, just took the chords and we just chopped them. And um, I kind of took off like that top line right there. So I took that off right there so it builds. Um, 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 um. So it's kind of like some like background sound in there that we're gonna keep adding to. So next, so we got the reverse, we got our bouncing, and now we just need something to kind of play out the chords in a melodic fashion. Now right, we chop these chords up like we said, so we just kind of had them play a little bit more funky. Maybe we'll add a little strum and... We 
got this random lean and kind of sounds like in memoriam, but not too much. Maybe add a few effects to that. And again, just piled on these effect racks, so just mad effects on top of mad effects. Just I love the way they interact with each other. I just kind of pulled down the mix a little bit, but just the mayhem of the sounds. I just fucking love it, dude. Just so many effects on there. Then widened it, a couple EQs. <clears throat> I really like that shit. And then maybe some kind of some other thing for some kind of a top line. So we'll look around an arcade, and uh, but this is coming out. I'm like the way this is starting. Arcade, distant voices, golden spaces. Just playing this one note. Um, sounds like this uh, without any effects. But then we put on mad effects like wider drip, a bunch of effect racks again, a love filter, parameter to EQ, widener. Well, stereo shaper rather. Turn into that. So it just kind of like elevates the energy in the background. So I found this super random and hollowed hearts from Memento. Just this weird sound. Just kind of, just kind of adds some like energy in the background again. It's like a EKG or something like. So I don't know. I think it adds the intensity weirdly. Right, last piece we need here, Flying High Memento. Again, just playing like one note, just letting it ride with some effects on it. And this right here, got some chorus, just pulled down, flank is pulled down, an effect rack, some shit. Really cute, but yeah. That's gonna be like our top line, and I think this shit's dope. Look. Look. Yeah. Okay, we had some master effects on here. We got a sketch cassette, my favorite one pretty much to use is St. Ides Heaven. We got a cassette, I just like to click it over one on this arrow and just kind of adjust these a little bit, take the static off and up the stability. Little EQ, TR5 Tape Machine 24, Analog Galore, just fucking with that shit. Again, a little EQ action, and uh, yeah, let's arrange this shit out. Yeah, we built up into our chorus, now in our verse, let's make this unique, bring it down an octave. We'll have to cut out some of the lows from that, so we'll throw it in here, throw in an EQ, and yeah, we'll just start like pitching things down and seeing how that changes shit in the verses. We got that. Our bounce sample here, let's bring it down a hundred cents, swag it out a little more. Okay, actually we gotta reset that because we got the master effects on there twice and we don't want that. <laughs> Your shit's not hitting hard enough? Clip it, boost it. Maybe up the, uh, down here, you can't see it in my face, but maybe go down there, up that, uh, up the hi-hat a little bit. Alright, a lot of you probably already know this, we got this open hi-hat pattern right here, but we're gonna show you the most important thing you gotta do with, like, your your 808s and your open hats. Let's go in here, and go like this, so that this actually goes. basic outline for a drill hi-hat maybe let's add like maybe a couple let's see if there's any space for any kind of like chops but maybe just keep it like the simple outline maybe this maybe just on the last part now again pretty basic kick pattern but Send that drill energy. Boom. Oh, whoa. Whoa. 
what happened there? <laughs> Oops. Not happening. Alright, not overly flexing at all with the 808s, just really simple with the tiniest little bit of some slides. a lot going on with like the melody and shit so like just the drums just gotta like keep the rhythm keep the bounce keep the energy the melody's doing a lot and then the rapper can do the rest but this i think might be one of my better drill beats i've ever made man i made a fair amount of them but i think this one right here might take the cake drop a comment below how do we feel about this beat let's uh really get it bumping though so i already got my 808 pretty much leveled out at negative six my kick leveled out at negative three that's where we want those we'll level everything else around that so i definitely don't want my uh snare to be any louder than six so it's under that so, uh, minimal as fuck dude just oh, two hats and let's just keep like this one two three four five drum sounds five drum sounds and this shit's dope and uh tier five classic clipper intro chorus verse that's really like the verse all the way there but i like to think of this as like the pre-chorus it's a little bit different than the rest of the verse you're gonna see it even visually it just drops down just the bass and then chorus again verse again pre-chorus chorus outro gets us to around like three minutes a little long but like they cut out parts maybe not have as much of like verse or like pre-chorus whatever but anyway that is our drill beat for today if you learned something you know hit that like button if you like what you see today hit that like button drop a comment let me know try, what video you're trying to see in the future i'm really trying to take all your suggestions and cook up to the best i can so yeah let's stay inspired together let's stay motivated together let's keep learning together appreciate you guys till next time here's the final beat peace